I'm Ika Langele. I am from Turkana in northwestern Kenya. What does it feel like to be a Goldman Prize winner for 2012, especially along with three other women? First, I'm humbled uh, because as I did my work, I really didn't think about the recognition. I just thought about, I needed the recognition from the people who I was trying to get the message to, to stop destroying the, the, the water system for my, for my community. But really, it's humbling and, and there's a sense of pride for, pers- for me as a person, for my family and as my community. Tell me a little bit about the project that you've been working on and fighting the dam in your community. Basically, we have been trying to get the Kenyan government and the Ethiopian government to understand that putting up a hydroelectric dam in, in, a, in, a, river, in a river that flows down to Lake Turkana is, is a catastrophic disaster and trying to get them to recognize that part while at the same time giving options to, this, to, the, to the governments and saying we understand and recognize that we need electricity but at what cost yet we have alternatives we have geothermal we have wind power just bringing the discussion more from saying no it's bad but saying we understand it's bad but we also recognize the need how then can we move ahead but not destroy the ecosystems so what are some of the solutions that you've recognized then into order to solve this problem and supporting your community since the water source is a huge part of everyday life for them for us Damming Rivomo is not an option. And so we've told our government, we, ha- we have domestic energy. We have over 7,000 megawatts of, of geothermal power. We have over 300 megawatts of wind power. Why can't we use that? And, and, and then there are various technologies of, of hydropower these days that really bring up runoff rivers. But we don't want to go into that. And that's the big question. Why don't we want to, to embrace the new technologies of hydropower? We're adopting hydropower uh, the construction of hydroelectric dams for, for you know that's so old dams that have been built with that technology are being decommissioned around the world what is it that we really want to stress on this one you came back into your community this is in kenya can you did you have a sense of expertise around this area when you took this on no um, i just had my bachelor's degree in finance and then went back went out, went came to the us to do my masters in public policy while it didn't have any specifics on energy and hydrogeology and geological aspects or environmental issues, but I learned to I, I took you know I learned from other people, I learned from other examples, and then I embraced it within the community. And I also learned from the traditional knowledge that is held by, by the elders and women in the community. What has been the biggest surprise for you since taking on this journey and finding the dam? I don't think there's really been a big surprise. Any takeaways, your greatest takeaways? For me, I think every, every human being in this world has a responsibility and we have to, to look inside ourselves and see what, what, what role we play in, in making this world a better place. We came into this world and we found something great. We were left for something great by the people who left us. We have to be able to leave a better place for the generations that come. And if we cannot do that, then we are not... They, that, is, that is what we, we, we say is the backward progress. If we are saying we want to progress, then we have to live it better than what we found. So what have been the results of your, of your fight against the dam? Where is it at right now? We've had um, the development banks get out. We've had the World Bank out, the European Investment Bank, and the African Development Bank have gotten out. But we've gotten the Chinese banks come in. It's been challenging, but it's avenues where we want to push that every time that all other banks stop to fund a project doesn't mean that's when China gets in. We are tired of this whole discussion of China will do anything. We want to change that. What would be your message to women around the world? Women are the guardians of biodiversity. We use the natural resource more than anybody else. And so it's, we have to be able to continue working hard. We have to partner. We have to network. We have to be friends of women we don't know. Because it's board, borders and boundaries do not, do not make it different. Women around the world suffer from this. They have problems. They have opportunities and they have challenges. We have to embrace all that. Mikhail, what would be one of your biggest learning lessons that you would want to share with others who are thinking, I have a problem or a challenge or an issue in my community, but I don't know if I have the capabilities to make something happen. I'm just one person. Yeah, as um, many people have said, you're one, but you may be one, but you are one who can make a difference. And for me, for as long as you wake up in the morning, you have a chance. And you have a chance to make a mistake. Yes, you learn from the mistake. But as long as you wake up in the morning you have a chance and that's all it takes did you take this on thinking like having a vision that there would be no dam 
when you started this, when you moved back to your community? When I picked it up, I knew it was going to be hard, but for me, the final, the final, the end of this has to be there will be no doubt. Either way, that we will fight to the end. It might be hard, and maybe, maybe we will lose, but that's what we don't, we don't put it at the, at the back of our minds. We just say we keep going, because as long as you think you're going to lose, you start walking backwards. But knowing that you wake up in the morning and there's that big challenge ahead, you just keep pushing on. I love what you're wearing. Does it have any symbol to where you live? This is, yeah, this is a traditional Turkana. And we love beads. We, we wear less clothes, but more beads. All right, I like that. Thank Let's, well, thanks so much for everything Thank you're you doing, and much. congratulations. Yeah.